I hope you're having a great day. So today is, we're between eight and 10 weeks. So on my calendar, I mark the 10 week mark starts Sunday. Today is Thursday, but it's iffy on exactly when our frost date is. Um, into April is what our farmer's guide says, but with peppers, tomatoes, all of that, I found out it's better to do it after May 10th. Um, I've had to run out and try to cover everything, and I can't imagine covering all these plants. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to get some like fabric or something to put on them. But anyway, so today, um, obviously, like my space is taken up with the way things are now. So I am going to move all of my trays long ways as I put different seeds in. So look at all these seeds. There's more seeds here than on all of my trays combined. But since all of these are from the eight to 10 week mark, I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to just start some. So I'm gonna plant some this week and next week and the next week and every week I will just be planting seeds. And the thing that I found out about seed starting and even if you watch YouTube, it just, I mean, there are different methods. There's soil blocking versus like just starting in plug trays, starting in seed trays, doing the Charles Dowding method and just scattering all the seeds on the soil and then plucking them out and putting them into like the cell trays so that you're not missing any um, areas. And all of those methods I'm sure work for different people. I did try soil blocking. I probably tried with two of the harder plants like lavender and lysanthus. So maybe that's why it didn't work as good for me. Um, and maybe some of these other seeds, I'll be able to try it when I start running out of room. But for now, I'm going with trays and soil starting mix. I am testing different soil starting mix. So I have Jiffy and then I also have this Pro Mix that I'll be using. Ooh, let me get it out there. Woo! <laughs> and um, I've tried Burpee and I've tried the Spoma Organic. So I have all of those different seed stereo mixes. And all I do is I get the soil just a little bit damp. It's not dripping wet. I start. I did do dripping wet when I first started because I'd seen other people on YouTube do it and it works for them. But I think in my conditions, I do have, I bought, this is about, it's backwards. So it's 75 and 51 degrees humidity in here. I bought this because I just didn't get why I would watch videos and like many people concurred on the method and I was like, it's not working in my basement. Like, I don't know why. Well, my humidity was really low. And so in another video, I explained how I got a humidifier and I brought the humidity level up in this room. Um, <sighs> should probably hang this a better way. But so like, I brought the humidity levels up, um, so maybe things would be better. But ever since I started just putting like the different soil um, in the trays, I've been having a lot better luck. And then I bottom water instead of spraying on the top. And another thing that might be why that's working is the town I live in, and I know this because we have a pool outside, our chlorine levels are very high in our water. I don't know why but they are, so maybe that was a factor. So I've been filling up my water. I've been letting it sit out so that some of that chlorine can evaporate. And then I only use the water that has been sitting out. I don't pour it directly from the tap into the bottom of my seedlings anymore. So when they drink it up, they're doing better. And then I, I've just only been feeding them once every other week because I fed a bunch of them and they looked like they had signs that I'd fed them too much. Like the pepper started turning purple and some of the lavender, the ends were getting brown, which lavender doesn't like a lot of food. So that makes sense. But I think I'm gonna try to do a hyperlapse video, which if you guys have ever watched my past videos, my phone always used to die, but I got a new phone. 
So I'm hoping that I can do a hyperlapse video today and I am just going to be moving the trays and starting new seeds. And I'm not going to bore you with the actual seed starting because you all know I get the soil just nice and just damp, not dripping wet because when it was dripping wet, I was explaining this earlier, when it was dripping wet, all of my plants dampened off. Like they did, like I put the humidity domes on, the lisianthus came up and it died. So I've not been doing that where it's dripping wet and water is running out of my hand if I squeeze that soil. I have been doing it so that when I squeeze that soil, it holds its form and no water drips out. Like maybe a drop or two might drip out and I'm usually okay with it and use it anyway. But I don't let it, like I, water is not dripping out if I squeeze it. Like as tight as I can, I squeeze it and I don't want water dripping out of it. So, and then I fill my trays, I put the humidity dome on it and I have left it. Like I, I think one tray, I was like, yeah, it is, it was really light and it looked pretty dry on top. So I bottom watered it and let the water come up until the top looked damp. And then I poured the rest of the water out and then my lavender went ahead and germinated. But I've only done that one time. All the rest of the times, like I have just left them until they came up and then I watered them again after I took the humidity dome off. So that's how I'm starting seeds and I'm just reading the back of the packet. I'm either putting them right on top of the soil or I'm covering them with like a fourth, a half or whatever inch of soil. And then I immediately put the dome on and I put them under the grow lights. Most of them are in the 70 to 75 degree germination temperature. And that's what my basement is. So I don't even need heat mats. Like with my peppers, I just turn on my heat mats to the right temperature and I go. So that's what I'm doing today. There's a lot of seeds, people. It doesn't look like a lot, right? It doesn't look like a lot, but like, let's see. I'll just tell you. So I've got verbena. snapdragons and I mean this snapdragons I have well like see that where it says 1m I think that's a thousand snapdragons you think 1 million but I think it's a thousand thousand 1000 do you know how many that would take 10 of my seed trays another 1000 <laughs> I don't think I need that many snapdragons and I have a little bit more lavender. I have columbine, which you can just sprinkle that, I think, on the ground. I did that at my house, and it came up, and it's still growing. So I don't know. Um, but I am doing cut flower farm, so I might start a few inside. Yarrow. I think you can also sprinkle that on the ground. Pinstamon. I have some dahlias, delphinium can't pronounce it salvia so yeah so this week I'm gonna get some of these started and going and then just keep going and going and going in the summer I will be a muddy dirty flower farmer four trays filled with dirt and now I just have to put in the seeds. 
snapdragon seeds. Teeny tiny. snapdragons grow so that's a wrap on my snapdragons my next task i think is going to be yarrow so i'll take a video of that um i'm not gonna add it to this one i think that youtube and stuff likes to have longer videos but i'm going to just do a few short ones right now and then maybe i can pick up on some long ones when i'm out in the field this summer i hope you all enjoyed the video have a great day